Transferring the human consciousness from one place to another and then controlling some kind of robot or telepresence object on the other side is the stuff of sci-fi. And all Nippon Airways wants to make that a reality through its Avatar XPRIZE. We're checking out ANA's Avatar presentation. Hundreds of visioneers voted to make this concept an official XPRIZE competition. An avatar is basically an alternative body that you possess. You put your intelligence in it, your awareness in it. This avatar system is an enormous um, potential for mankind. That's what I believe in. If I have one in a village, for instance, I can have every doctor, every engineer, every machinist. Whatever you need, when you need it, could be there. This sounds a lot like the beginnings of Skynet to me. When the Terminator War comes, do you want to fight that Terminator in your meat suit, or do you want to fight it in your avatar body? You can travel on top of the Everest, and also you can dive deeply into the ocean for like 2,000 meters on the very same day. And if you were able to do that through the robot, wouldn't you be tempted to do that by yourself? Everest, Everest. I'm gonna win a hot dog eating contest with my avatar. So the goal of the Avatar X Prize is a contest that will bring all the makers together to create a general purpose avatar system. Oh my God, it's a robot! The whole point of our contest is to build this general purpose avatar and by having celebrities or others do it, it will get across, again, the full concept that this is for everyone. So we finally get to play with the robot and shaking someone's hand through it was incredible. But then they dropped the bomb on me. I get to be the robot. You guys have no idea how excited I am about this right now. So there's four pieces of equipment I have to put on in order to become the robot. A giant headset, a vest, and two gloves with haptic feedback inside. This is the super futuristic version of Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> to calibrate my hands to the robot's hands, I have to do these strange finger exercises that will tell the computer what I want the robot to do. We're about to start, and they say, put your hands on the orbs. And suddenly, I have been transported to Star Trek. Okay, you are connected. Whoa, hello okay, everybody. You can, see, you can see me. Hello. Oh, hello. The professor touches my robot hand and I can feel it in my hands because of the haptic feedback. Yes, oh wow. <laughs> that's amazing. Then I turned my head to the right and that's when things got weird because there I was sitting five feet away. Oh, it's me. Hi, me. Where are you? Are you here? I'm having an existential crisis. Where am I? Yeah, it's strange because I can see your hand moving when you moved right towards now. me. So I take off the headset, the gloves, and the vest, and I'm super bummed out because honestly, I just wanted to be a robot all day. But unfortunately, the technology to build a true general purpose avatar is still a little ways off. So I'll wake up tomorrow morning and think the same thing that I've thought my entire adult life. I wish I was a robot. <laughs>